So hey, what's going on guys? So today we're looking at the limited release 2011 McDonald's Pokemon toys in the Happy Meal. They were released shortly after the North American release of Pokemon Black and White in March on March 6, 2011. Uh, these were released from June to July 2011 in North America and saw a release in August of 2011 in Australia and New Zealand with some exceptions. Talk about that later. And it was released in Europe in early 2012, about a year after their release of Pokemon Black and White. And those also had some exceptions. We'll talk about that later. So I have a complete unopened set right here, as you can see. So what you're going to notice is they each come with a trading card as well. Uh, there are eight different toys with 12 different trading card possibilities. Um... Since I have not opened these, I don't exactly know which trading cards I have. But the possibilities for trading cards are Snivy, Maricus, Tapig, Oshawott, Alamola, Blitzel, Muna, Sandile, Zoru, Clink, Padove, and Audino. Uh, so let's just look at these individually. So number one is Pikachu. Second one right here is Rashiram, which is the legendary one from the white version of the game. Oshawott, number three. There's, you can see, comes with, shows you what some of the cards are right there. You can see that. Uh, my personal favorite is Zorark. Look at my name. <laughs> and I made this account right before these games came out, which explains my inspiration, though poor spelling, of my username. Hey Pig, the legendary Pokemon from Black, Zekrom, I believe I said that right, as you can actually kind of make out what cards in there, Tay Pig came with this one, Snivy, which is one of the starter Pokemon from Black and White, and then Zoru, the pre-evolution phase of Zorark. As I forgot to point out, these are also starter Pokemon. Uh, Oshawott and Tapig. Water, fire, grass. And then, of course, you got your classic Pikachu. One everyone loves to know. So, as I was saying, there were some exceptions when they were released later in New Zealand and Australia. They were released without Pikachu, without Zora, and without Zoru. So you have this just a five set of Pokemon. I'm not sure the reason for this, but when they were released in Europe, they had Pikachu back, but no Zorark or Zoru. So the North American collection, and when I say North American, I specifically mean USA and Canada, uh, had the only one had a complete set. So yeah, that's about it for this. I think it's uh, pretty cool. Black and White were my, some of my favorite games, actually, uh, for the DS and 3DS and newer versions of Pokemon. Uh, my all-time favorite is Pokemon Fire Red from Game Boy Advance, but yeah. So, thank you for watching.